Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dead Dylan. And nah, I ain't dead just yet. I got another gun review for you. The new one, the Rusty M6A3 DMR. Alright, now this gun is OP as hell. It's supposed to be a sniper rifle, but it's pretty much like has a fire rate of a slow AR. So right here I uh, compared it to the SG556 DMR just because I guess that would be the closest one to compare it to. And uh, the damage is 27 points less, but that doesn't really matter because it's still a 2 hit kill and a 3 hit to tanker vest pretty much as any other sniper rifle would be. Alright, so then pretty much the weight, all the other stats are worse. They're actually better on the Rusty. Clip size, the recoil, the fire rate, everything's better on the Rusty. Alright guys, so let's actually stop doing this and go check it out in game and see what it's like. Alright, so I only played two different maps in this. Uh, the reason is because I'm trying to um, show actually more gameplay rather than um, just showing like clips from different maps like where I do the best. So this is pretty much just me in game playing. Um, I don't know if I show some deaths. I might just click that stuff up because I know it's kind of boring you guys. So alright, so first of all I'm going to go over the pros and the cons of this gun. And you guys are going to love this because there's actually more cons to this gun than pros. Alright, so first I'll start with the pros. There's a fast fire rate. It's the fastest sniper rifle. It's not only the fastest shooting sniper rifle, but it also has super low recoil. So you can pretty much hold down that button and still just just hold it down. And uh, what I mean is hold down your aim or whatever, and then it'll just stay in one spot and you just keep clicking. And the high clip, 36 bullets in one clip if you ex get extend it. So that's perfect. It looks awesome. Obviously, the blood and everything. What do people want in CA? They want a good looking gun. So that's pretty much what you got. And then the reload, it's pretty quick. I mean, I'd say it's I'd say it's uh, definitely average. It's not slow at all. Uh, it's a two hit kill and three to tanker vest. I mean, it's relatively consistent. It, it's a good gun. I enjoy playing with it. I only had it for a day, but. Uh, it's definitely fun to play with. Definitely when you're a sniper only, but ain't nobody got time for that, just like you saw earlier. I mean, they'll kick you right away. So, alright, now for the cons. Enough chitter chatter. You got low ammo. Pretty much, the clip is big, but you only got 24 extra. I mean, that's, that's not really going to help you out at all. The huge spread. I mean, when you try to no scope people with this gun unless you're close you ain't gonna like right there see i was close you know close to that so it's gonna be like really really good but i mean the spread ain't that good let's just leave it at that and then super low accuracy i mean i tried to aim at people's heads and they're not even moving and i missed pretty much every shot og quarantine eight right there but uh, it's it's like i think it's like 45 bucks I don't know, the AS Val, the bloody one, or no, not the bloody one. It's called Rusty. The Rusty AS Val, that one's expensive, so I'm sure the sniper rifle is even more expensive. Like 45 bucks, maybe 50 bucks. I mean, that's insane for a price. Even if you have the coupon, it's still, it's still, um, what the hell are you thinking, Nexon? Who's going to buy that? Okay, and the most worst con is you cannot play in sniper only because you will get kicked. I mean... Unless the mod's using it, and normally that doesn't happen. So, that that's it for the pros and cons. Uh, this video is pretty much over. I also played a game in uh, Costa Recon, just to, uh, you know, sh show more of the gun and, and how good it is. And in this map, it's, it's a really good gun to use. I mean, uh, right here, the leaf got in the way. I mean, come on, bro. So... As you can see, like, I tried to aim at the person's head, but couldn't even hit. I mean, the accuracy is just horrible on this gun. 
but uh, the stats say it's pretty good, so I don't know. It is what it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if you guys want more. Like, subscribe if you want to. And uh, that's pretty much as good as gameplay as I can get you guys. Alright guys, peace out.